pandas, possibly the cutest animals in existence today. These black and white fuzzy bears are universally loved by everyone all over the world. I mean, who doesn't love pandas? We love them so much we put them in our movies, cartoons, anime, <clears throat> anime, treats, rap songs, pan, 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 pan. fast food, and of course our favorite wrestling TV show, the WWF. Now it's no different for the girls from the worldwide K-pop sensation, Blackpink. In a recent episode of their web series, the members are seen handling a baby panda, as reported in an improper fashion. Chinese netizens were angered, citing Chinese regulations that baby pandas should be handled only by professionals wearing proper gear, following proper procedure. They said the mishandling could have killed the little cub. And as you can see in China, they are very strict about wearing a mask and gloves while handling baby pandas. Whoa, 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 wait, this took place in Everland Amusement Park, a Korean owned park on private property in Korea. Germany doesn't have any jurisdiction on how you treat your German Shepherd. So why does China have any say in what Korea does with their pandas? Meet Fubao. Fubao is actually the first ever panda to be born in Korea. She was born in July of 2020, just three months ago. The mother is a seven-year-old panda, Ai Bao, and the father is a nine-year-old panda, Le Bao. They both arrived from the Sichuan province in China in 2016 as a 15-year-old loan. Yes, you heard me right, a 15-year loan. Technically, almost every panda in the world is legally owned by China. So why are pandas so protected? And why is China so strict with regulations? Well, pandas are an endangered species. As of 2014, there were 1,864 pandas in the wild and about 400 in zoos. It is incredibly difficult to obtain a panda, so difficult that only 26 zoos in the world have a panda. In the United States, only four zoos have pandas. Zoo Atlanta, Memphis Zoo, the Smithsonian National Zoological Park, and the San Diego Zoo. I'm telling you, this could be the San Diego Zoo. Although a lot of these pandas grew up in the United States, they belong to China. Same with Fubao. Although she was born in Korea, she's about as Chinese as a mooncake in autumn. So how much does it cost to actually own a panda? And by own, I mean lease it from China. In short, really expensive. Really, really expensive. The loan itself will be anywhere from 10 to 15 years, and the loan payment is about $1 million a year. Yes, you heard me right, $1 million a year. Well, what about food? Well, pandas primarily eat bamboo, uh, a lot of it. And they eat about one fourth of their body weight, which is about 40 pounds. That's 10 times the amount the average humans eat a day. So 40 pounds a day for one year is about 14,600 pounds of bamboo which comes to about $50,000. Additionally, pandas need a special space or enclosure to live in. You can't really just shove them in a box and call it a day. They need a place to live, roam, and play to lead a healthy life. This is the Copenhagen Zoo. This particular enclosure cost them $24 million. Wow. wow. So if you wanted to own a panda for 15 years, which comes to $39,750,000, you could buy 1,800,000 black pink albums. You uh, still thinking of buying a panda? And it's no surprise they're so rare. They just suck at surviving. First, check out their fur. They have horrible camouflage. I, I mean, look at this coat. What were you trying to fool, dude? Any predator could find them from miles away. Let's look at their diet. As you know, pandas eat a ton of bamboo. In fact, 99% of their diet consists of straight up bamboo and nothing else. But guess what? Their stomachs aren't even designed to eat bamboo. They're bears. They have the digestive system of a carnivore. They only digest about 17% of the bamboo they eat, leading them to eat 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo just to compensate. They spend 10 to 14 hours of eating every single day which leads to pooping 40 times a day. Now let's check out the reproduction. A female panda only ovulates once a year. And in that one time a year, they only have a window of two to three days. If they don't conceive in that window, then they're forced to wait a year again. When you thought it couldn't get worse, to add to that, the problem is that male pandas just don't care and are so unmotivated. Handlers have had to give them Viagra just to get them to work. And if by some miracle, some act of God, these pandas do have a baby. Panda cubs are the most helpless animal in the world. <laughs> cubs are blind, tiny, and they can't eat by themselves. They can't even poop by themselves. 
everything about being a panda makes them the absolute worst animal for survival. The popular YouTube channel Tears who gave them a straight up F ranking, and even then, F is kind of generous. Who designed this animal? Whoever did honestly needs to be fired. Literally, their only survival trait is that they're really cute. But I, I mean, I, I guess they do that pretty well. Honestly, it's a surprise that they aren't extinct yet. If only they knew Kung Fu. I'm the big fat panda. Hey guys, that's my video. And if you guys liked it, remember to give us a subscribe. And if you guys wanna support this channel in any way, Head to our Ko-Fi page, there's a link in the description below and try to buy us a coffee. And as always, skadoosh.